Country code, plus 1284 international call prefix, 011 outside NANP calls from the British Virgin Islands to the US, Canada, and other NANP Caribbean nations, are dialed as 1 plus NANP area code plus 7 digit number. Calls from the British Virgin Islands to non-NANP countries are dialed as 011 plus country code plus phone number with local area code. Number format, NXX4X Telephones, main lines in use 11700-2002 Telephones, mobile cellular 8000-2002 Telephone system Worldwide telephone service General assessment Worldwide telephone service Domestic NA International Connected via submarine cable to Bermuda, the East Caribbean Fiber System ECFS submarine cable provides connectivity to 13 other islands in the Eastern Caribbean 2007. Radio broadcast stations AM1, FM5, Shortwave 0 2004. ZBVI 780 Tertola ZJKC FM 90.9 Tertola repeats WJKC 95.1 Christiansted, USVI ZGLD FM 91.7 Tertola ZCCR FM 94.1 Todman's Peak ZWVE FM 97.3 Tertola ZKNG FM 100.9 Chalwell ZROD FM 103.7 Tertola ZVCR FM 106.9 Chalwell Television Broadcast Stations 1. ZBTV, plus one cable company 1997. Internet Service Providers ISPs. 1 1999 Internet Country Code VG Internet Hosts 465 2008 Internet Users 4000 2002 See also British Virgin Islands Topic deregulation of the telephone market In 2006, the British Virgin Islands government undertook a deregulation of the telephone industry. Prior to 2006, in common with many other Caribbean countries, cable and wireless Caribbean had a statutory monopoly on telephone and other electronic communications services. However, in the 1990s, a local company called CCT Boatphone, which had previously provided radio boatphones to tourists on charter boats, expanded into cellular mobile telecommunications for land-based users. Although technically in breach of the statutory monopoly, CCT Boatphone was backed by a powerful collection of local interests known as the BVI Investment Club. Negotiations between cable and wireless and CCT Boatphone led to a split of the monopolies, with cable and wireless retaining a monopoly over fixed line and Internet services, and CCT Boatphone keeping a de facto monopoly over cellular telephones. In 2007 the government abolished the previously existing monopolies under an order made pursuant to the new legislation. The process proved politically fraught, and the government's Minister for Communications and Works, Alvin Christopher, ended up leaving the government and joining the opposition party as a result of the furore. The process was also criticized as cumbersome and slow, the initial deregulation having been announced in 2004, and taking no less than three years to come to fruition through delays in legislation and regulation. Although there have been no new entrants into the fixed-line industry, the government issued three licenses under the new regime to cellular telephone service providers. 
The existing provider, CCT Boatphone, obtained one license. B Mobile, the cellular arm of cable and wireless, obtained a second. The third license was obtained by BVI Cable TV, a local cable television service. The license in favor of BVI Cable was controversial, as the regulator had announced in advance that only three licenses in total would be issued, and BVI Cable TV had crumbling cable television infrastructure, and was in no position to office cellular telephone services and to date, has not offered any cellular telephone services, or anything other than simple cable television. However, Bmobile's main regional competitor, Digicel, was rejected for a license. The decision was regarded as highly controversial in the local media. Digicel then issued court proceedings against the regulator, arguing that he had acted improperly by imposing an arbitrary limit of three licenses, although no complaint was made about the decision to prefer BVI Cable TV's improbable license over Digicel. B Mobile was joined to the suit as an interested party. High Court Judge Rita Joseph Olivetti found in favor of Digicel and quashed the original decision. Digicel commenced separate proceedings against cable and wireless as B Mobile's parent company in the English courts, claiming that cable and wireless has unfairly stifled competition in several Caribbean jurisdictions. During the intervening period, B-Mobile has obtained a virtual stranglehold on the cellular telecommunications market in the British Virgin Islands by a combination of low prices and aggressive advertising, as well as significant investment in infrastructure and technology. Digicel was finally granted a license on 17 December 2007 and started operations in the BVI on 28 November 2008.